Hello, and welcome to Tingle's Top 10. We're coming close to the end of Pride Month, but that doesn't mean we have to stop celebrating. So let's count down the Top 10 LGBTQA plus couples. And if by some small miracle you're watching this video, it means YouTube hasn't blocked us, though they've certainly demonetized us. They wouldn't want us embarrassing them in front of their sponsors like PepsiCo, Monsanto, and of course, Jimmy Diggler's premium leaded child poison. Number 10, Commander Shepard and Crewmate. As Commander Shepard in Mass Effect 3, you can choose to pursue a same-sex relationship with one of your crewmates. Emphasis on the word mate. And while some of you would like us to pick male Shepard's relationship with Caden or Femme Shep's relationship with Liara, there is only one true pair that stole our hearts. Femme Shep's relationship with the emotionally impaired Elcor Tiffany. Obviously lying. Shepard. I am so excited to go to Lilith Fair with you tomorrow. Number 9. Lammy and Katie from Um Jamma Lammy. While not obvious at first, the increasing sexual lyrics in the game's soundtrack makes it pretty obvious the two band members are in a not so secret relationship. Towards the end of the game, the band Milk Can enters a grittier, more experimental phase, and they release their hypersexual album, Taco Lunch, which includes the song that confirmed everyone's suspicions. Yes, comma, we're fucking. Yes, we're fucking! <laughs> yes, we're fucking. 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 Next to the theme of Super Mario Bros. Stage 1 1, yes, this is easily the most popular song in video games. Yes, we're fucking. Number 8 Chloe and Max. No, I'm sorry, that's a typo. Sam and Max. Number 7 Otacon and Solid Snake. They might keep the details of their romance to themselves for the most part, but we find the relationship from the survivors of Shadow Moses to be pretty sweet. And before you say anything, let's face it, you don't spend that much time on the phone with, move in with, or adopt a child with someone you're just good friends with. Let's live, Snake. There's a parking garage right next door. Snake doesn't need some cocky, arrogant bad boy in his life. He's fine with his sensitive nerd. Who also manufactures weapons of mass destruction. Their loyalty and commitment to each other despite their differences, their love built on mutual respect and genuine friendship gives us all hope for the future. Truly, love can bloom on the battlefield. Number 6. Sonic the Hedgehog and Solid Snake. Hey, Hedgehog. You got a great butt. Yeah! <sighs> Look, sometimes things just don't work out. You grow in two separate directions, and you just become two different. Relationships just gradually fall apart, and it's really nobody's fault. Number 5. Zangief from Street Fighter travels the world trying to prove the supremacy of Russian combat sports. Though if you ask me, I think he's trekking the world for a different reason. A boy quest. The Stalingrad Grappler is a famous bear wrestler, and also, he wrestles bears. But he didn't find his dream matchup in a cave, instead, he found them in the back lots of Hollywood. That's why the number 5 spot goes to Zangief and Wreck-It Ralph. Whoa, that's a lot of boy beef. <laughs> number 4. Undyne and Elphys from Undertale. I'm 
Undertale? 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 Undertale! Undertale! Oh my god! Undertale! 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 I still don't know what Undertale is. I've been pretty busy. Oh look! A street shark is dating one of the dinosaurs from Claymation Christmas. Number 3. Eleanor Roosevelt and Lorena Hickok It was often rumored that Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of President Franklin Roosevelt, had a secret relationship with her longtime friend and close companion Lorena Hickok. Thanks to archival footage from Call of Duty 2, scientists have been able to isolate the two having a lover's quarrel during Franklin's infamy speech. In our armed forces, with the unbounding determination of our... Well, I'm sorry, Eleanor, but I thought you wanted to go to Lilith Fair. Number two. Me! Tingle, tingle, no, no, tingle. It's the top 10 LGBTQ couples. You're one person. I know you like to put yourself on the number two spot as a gag, but it makes absolutely, you gotta pick something else. It makes no sense, no sense at all. Okay, fine. Hmm, let me see. Number two, Princess Zelda and Sheik. Don't tell anyone, but I've heard these two have a close relationship. That's because they're the same person. How am I supposed to know that? I wasn't in that one. I was in Majora's Mask. Fine. Number two. Princess Zelda and Tetra. Don't tell anyone, but I've heard these They're two- They're also the same person. Well, how was I supposed to know that? I wasn't- Yes, you were. Fine. Number two. Link and me from Hyrule Warriors for the Switch. Go ahead. Prove to me that nothing happened. And let me tell you something, that little black handheld isn't the only switch. Before we reveal our number one spot, here are some honorable mentions. The cast of Overwatch has many LGBTQ pairings, from Junkrat and Roadhog, to Pharmacy, to Tracer, and her girlfriend that they forgot to put in the game. But soon there won't be any cishet characters at all, as Blizzard plans on removing them with the next patch. Ignoring an initially cruel write-up from Nintendo in the Super Mario Bros. 2 manual, and some pretty toxic articles from some game bros, Birdo has gone on to be a trans icon in video games. She is aided with the love and support from her partner in life and tennis, Yoshi. The fact that Kirby is both agender and asexual does not get in the way of the fun they have with their life partner, Waddle Dee. The two still go on dates, including long walks, going to the movies, and cannibalism. And on a special note, we would just like to congratulate the peon from Warcraft for finally confirming that actually he is that kind of orc. <laughs> Number one, Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. The duo are a power couple in Hollywood, but first, they were two-thirds of the ultimate team in this outrageously overcrowded fighter. And now you know why the Juggernaut officiated their wedding. I'm Juggernaut! Thank you for watching another Tingle's Top 10, and we just want to say how much we love all of our LGBTQA plus T friends. The extra T is for Tingle. Kula Limpa! I'm Juggernaut! <laughs>